Are you ready? It's sing-along time. J-E-S-U-S Means that God's the best Yes, he shows us God is love God is love J-E-S-U-S Means that God's the best Yes, he shows us God is love God is love Jesus came for everyone Amazing grace, God sent his son Well, hallelujah And his son, well, hallelujah. He healed the sick, he fed the poor, he walked on water and so much more. And he died for you and I, for you and I. Yes, yes, J-E-S-U-S means that God's the best. Yes, he shows us God. My name is Dewan, and I'm so excited to see you. Guess what? I have something really exciting to share with you. I have this really cool treasure chest, and inside the chest are lots of wonderful treasures that I want to show you. Do you want to see what's inside? Let's do it together. Ooh. Okay, so I like to play dress up. So I have a really cool furry thing that I like to wear. And, ooh, look at these. What are these? These are nice beads. It's so fun to dress up. So these are cool treasures. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Mmm! This is a really cool treasure. I like to play ball outside. Do you like to play ball outside? That's lots of fun. Hmm. Ooh, I have something that's green, and you see a lot of it outside. This is a really cool plant. 
This is a fun treasure. I love having plants around my house. It makes me feel so happy. Okay. This is my friend. He is a great treasure. Someone gave him to me. He's my best friend. Okay, so we have my lion. What else do I have in here? You know what's a really cool treasure? This is a handmade necklace. Isn't that cool? Very pretty. Look all the colors, the oranges and the yellows. That's really cool. Oh, there's so many great things in this box. Okay, I got three more things. Hmm, this is a really cool treasure. It reminds me of one of my favorite holidays. Can you guess what it is? Christmas, yes! This is a treasure, for sure. Christmas is a great time. Okay. Oh! And look at this. This is a treasure because I love getting cards. Do you guys like making cards and making crafts and giving them to people that you care about? This is a really special treasure. All right, guys. There's one more thing in the box. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a crown! Do you know who wears crowns? Kings and queens wear crowns. You know what? This reminds me of our big idea this week. Our big idea this week is, the good news is Jesus sets up God's kingdom. Do you know what a kingdom is? Do you know how a kingdom is built? Let's go to story time and hear all about it. Hey friends, I'm Dan. Today, we're gonna learn about the kingdom of heaven from Jesus himself. Let's check it out. This is from Matthew 13. One day, a big crowd gathered to listen to Jesus. Sometimes people didn't understand Jesus's lessons easily. So he often told stories to teach lessons about how God wants us to live. These stories are called parables. On this day, Jesus was teaching about the kingdom of God. Do you know what a kingdom is? A kingdom is usually a big piece of land and it's ruled by a king or a queen. The kingdom of God is sometimes called the kingdom of heaven and people were curious about what it was. Is it a place or is it here? or is it far away? Jesus told a story to help explain that the kingdom of heaven is wherever God lives. Jesus is king, and when we follow him, we get to be part of God's kingdom. But it isn't a place you can visit. It's anywhere you go that Jesus is in your heart. God's kingdom isn't really like other kingdoms. Jesus explained it by telling this story. There was a man who was working in a field, digging. He put his shovel in the ground over and over and dug deeper and deeper until, what is this, he wondered. It was treasure he had found, hidden in the ground. He quickly buried the treasure. He was so happy to find this treasure. The man ran home and sold everything he owned to buy that field with the hidden treasure in it. He knew the treasure was worth it. Do you know what Jesus is trying to say by telling this story? He said that the kingdom of heaven is like this buried treasure. When you find it and understand that Jesus' love is a treasure, it's worth it to follow the king for the treasure. Being part of God's family is a treasure. We get to be part of his kingdom when we say yes to Jesus and follow him. Wow, isn't that incredible? We're gonna head to activity time now. Hope you have a lot of fun. Activity time! Hi, Hi friends. friends! That story about finding a treasure had us thinking. 
it's time for a super special treasure hunt. Yes, and we want you to play with us. So whether you're at home, a friend's house, or in a classroom, let's go on a treasure hunt together. Okay, are you ready for the first step? First, we want you to find something you can draw with. So maybe that's a crayon or a marker, anything you can draw a picture with. Let's go hunting. Okay. Mm, I don't see anything over here. Look, I found a backpack. Oh, is there something in it? There's a red pen in it. That is perfect. Did you find something, friends? Okay, great, because it's time for step two. Now we want you to find something you can draw on. So maybe that's a piece of paper, or you have a special drawing book. Anything you can draw the picture on. Let's go looking. Um, oh, there's a Bristol board there. Oh, perfect, and it's on an easel. Perfect. Okay, because we have one more step on our treasure hunt, and that is a question. If we think back to the story, what is the one treasure that was worth following? If you can think of something, draw it on your paper. I'll give you a clue. Okay, perfect. Hmm, what is that, friends? Can you guess? I'll give you a second clue. Okay. Um, oh, I know what that is. That's a heart. Yes. Did you guess that, friends? Okay, if you drew it, hold it up so we can see it. Wow. wow, your hearts are amazing, and Jesus and love. And that's right, the greatest treasure of all is Jesus' love for us. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us, friends. I had so much fun. It's time for Keyverse. Keyverse time. Are you ready to learn the Keyverse? Okay, it goes like this. Tell the good news to everyone. Mark 16, verse 15. Okay, we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna jump. But first, do you have a chair or something to sit on? Kneel beside it. So we're gonna kneel down and we're gonna say, tell. Then we're gonna get up and sit on the chair and say the good news. Then we're gonna jump up and we're gonna say to everyone. And then we're gonna put our hands together and we'll say Mark 16, verse 15. You got it? You wanna try it again? Okay, so we're gonna kneel. And we're gonna say, tell, get up and have a seat. The good news. Then we're gonna jump to everyone. Mark 16, verse 15. Let's try it again. Tell. The good news to everyone. Mark 16, verse 15. That was great. How about you share that with a friend today? Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? How about today we sit crisscross applesauce and put our hands together like this. Are you ready? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us. And thank you that you're the real treasure. And thank you for sending Jesus so that we can find you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It was so great seeing you today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. Yes, you ask, means that God's the best. Yes, he shows.